Hi you guys, this is Miss Tao. Today we will be learning about the ancient Mesopotamia religion. When we take a look at religion, we talked about it a couple weeks ago. Uh, and to revisit the definition, it is to organize religions, have their own churches or temples, priests and agreed upon set of beliefs and values. Every person who belongs to an organized religion agrees with those beliefs and values. So when we take a look at this next video, I want you guys to pay attention to Mesopotamians' religion, their temples, their beliefs and values. What you learn on Wednesday about Mesopotamia's government will also help you in this lesson. So we will watch a video about the religion and Mesopotamia. That reminds me, I should write something about our religion. It plays a big part in our lives. We believe in seven great gods of the earth, sky, sun, moon, salt water, fresh water, and wind. My city, Nippur, is protected by the god Enlil, the god of wind. We believe he lives in his temple on top of the ziggurat. We spend a lot of time praying to our gods. A lot of people even make a little statue of themselves praying and leave it in the temple. The statues keep on praying while the people go about their daily chores. Our priests hold ceremonies to honor the gods and offer them food twice each day. My older brother, Shulgi, is a priest in the ziggurat. Only priests are allowed inside. Shulgi reminds me of that every chance he gets. We believe the gods own the land and everything on it. So we give the gods everything we grow. Then the priests share it with all the people. They make sure everyone gets enough. Were you able to catch any of Mesopotamia's beliefs and values? Some of the gods that they believed in? And what was the ziggurat? And how was the priest and the king able to be the only one in the ziggurats? How did they worship these gods? So I have a class discussion of what were Mesopotamia's beliefs and values. Good job, you guys. So, Mesopotamians were polytheists, meaning they believed in multiple gods and goddesses. And here are some of the gods and goddesses that they believed in. And that word polytheistic, you will hear that a lot uh, within our civilizations, meaning they believed in multiple gods and goddesses. At the center of each major city in Mesopotamia was a large structure called a ziggurat. The ziggurat was built to honor the main god of the city. The tradition of building a ziggurat was started by the Sumerians, but other civilizations of Mesopotamia, such as the Akkadians, the Babylonians, and the Assyrians, also built ziggurats. Ziggurats look like step pyramids. They would have anywhere from two to seven levels or steps. Each level would be smaller than the one before. Typically, the ziggurat would be square in shape at the base. Some ziggurats are believed to have been huge. Perhaps the largest ziggurat was the one at Babylon. Recorded dimensions show that it had been seven levels and reached a height of nearly 300 feet. It was also 300 feet by 300 feet square at its base. The ziggurat was a temple to the main god of each city. Each city in Mesopotamia had a primary god. For example, Murdoch was the god of Babylon. Inki was the god of Eridu, 
and Ishtar was the goddess of Nineveh. The ziggurat showed that the city was dedicated to that god. At the top of the ziggurat was a shrine to the god. The priests would perform sacrifices and other rituals here. They built them high because they wanted the shrine to be as close to the heavens as possible. Many of the ziggurats have been destroyed over the past several thousand years. The famous huge ziggurat of Babylon was said to have been in ruins by the time Alexander the Great conquered the city in 330 BC. The ziggurat at Chaga Zambel is one of the last surviving ziggurats. Some ziggurats have been reconstructed or rebuilt. The ziggurat at the city Ur is one that has been somewhat rebuilt. The ziggurat at Babylon was named Etemenanki. This meant foundation of heaven and earth in Sumerian. The tall height of the ziggurat may have also been useful during the seasonal flooding. There were generally only a few ramps leading up to the top of the ziggurat. This made the top easy to guard and helped keep the priests' rituals private if they wanted. The early Egyptian pyramids were step pyramids, similar to the ziggurat. The Mayans and Aztecs built step pyramids to their gods as well. This was thousands of years later and on a completely different continent. And in this video, um, there were some interesting facts, right, um, of how tall a ziggurat got, which was two to seven levels. Um, and also, the biggest one stood 300 feet by 300 feet. That's pretty big. That's really, really big. And as you can see, religion played a big role in Mesopotamia. And each city-state, there was a primary god, and that god was worshipped um, by building the ziggurat, and there was a shrine at the very top of the ziggurat. Um, the reason why they had the shrine at the very top is so that they can be close to heaven as much as possible. Some interesting things. Uh, a king, it was the king's responsibility to give the gods offerings and keep, kept the, keep the ziggurats in good condition. Uh, ziggurats were often built as a symbol of a king's power. So the bigger it was, um, the more it symbolized that the king had a lot of power uh, within their city-states. And the more decorative it was, um, it also symbolized the king's power. Are there still ziggurats around? Yes. So today there's about 25 ziggurats remaining um, found in the area from southern Babylon, Babylonia, which Babylon is here. Um, and it stated from the southern area here all the way to Assyria. Okay, so you can actually find ziggurats all the way around here, which is really cool. The best preserved ziggurat is Nana in Ur, which is here, which today is Iraq, uh, while the largest is found in Konja, Zambil. It's really neat that uh, these ziggurats are still standing till this day. Um, even though they were built 3,000 years ago. So here is a um, sky view of the pyramid in Kanja. And as you can see, there are walls, brick walls around it. And you can still see some of these square spots here which can indicate um, of other small houses that used to be there. It's really neat, right? You see some of the bricks are still there and here. You could almost make out that the 
ziggurat was the wall to protect it was actually around here which is really cool and if you guys have time if your teacher has time um, they can show you this 3d version of a virtual reconstruction of the ziggurat in the city of earth 